Dear Rob, it's February 2022. How's it going? Is it better than 2021? Well, is it? Dear Diary. All right, so it's February 2022. Told you guys I would talk about my life once a month for the entire year of 2022. So let's talk. All right, now 2021 was probably one of the worst years of my life in terms of shit going wrong. But what I can say about 2021 is that it sparked a fire in me that I never knew was there. It was probably the most enlightening year of my life. But so many things went wrong in the year 2021. We'll start off at the beginning of the year. I lost my job for the most ridiculous reason ever, and it felt like the universe was giving me a sign. Because from that experience, I realized I wasn't happy. I wasn't living my life for me. I was living my life for my family and societal's expectations of me having to live my life in a career that was appropriate for society. I then decided to leave my career as a marriage and family therapist and pursue a life in fitness and health. And then when I started to pursue that new career and my passion, my ex-girlfriend left me because, well, I wasn't enough. So I came into this new career, this new passion, this world of fitness and health that I've always been in love with, but I had to completely start my career all over from the bottom up. I was scared, I was anxious, I had a lot of those feelings that, you know, I'm not enough and this maybe isn't the right choice, but I kept going. Eventually during my first day of my internship at my new job, I wake up at 6 a.m and my car's broken into. But I have to tell myself that that's not gonna stop me from pursuing my dream. I then go on to work for free in this internship for two whole months, not getting paid. <clears throat> and then when I finally get hired and start getting paid, I go from getting paid $60 a month in my old career to getting paid $15 a month. You know, so obviously 2021 was not my year. And that's just, you know, tip of the iceberg that's all the main events but there were so many little things that also happened during 2021 it just kind of felt like a meteor shower you know hit after hit after hit after hit it felt like the odds were stacked against me every push of the way but i had to keep reminding myself keep going keep pushing and eventually you'll reach your goals believes in you doesn't matter if anyone's by your side or not you're pushing for your dream and your dream alone good thing for me is i actually had my best friend who supported me the entire way and believed in me. And him believing in me helped me believe in myself because I never believed in myself before him. So. Here's the message I learned from 2021. Live every moment. Love every day. Cause before you know it, your precious time slips away. Live every moment, love every day, cause if you don't, you might just throw your love away. What am I doing? I can't even play this thing, but it's on my list of things to learn for 2022. So in a few months, I'm actually gonna be able to play this thing, guys. So where does that leave us? If your brain is stuck in the past, you're gonna be depressed. If your brain is stuck on the future, you're gonna be anxious. So we have to leave the past 
in the past. And if you're worried about how you're going to get to the future, live in the present moment. That's how you'll reach your dreams. That's how you'll start believing in yourself. That's how you'll be happier in general. You have to chase your dreams by living in the moment. That's the new philosophy that I've been living by this year. What can you do day by day that will help you chase your dreams? I may not be the best person out here doing something, but what I am is the best version of myself to this year. I'm 32 and I barely reach the best version of myself. And you know what? Next year, I want to be better than this year's version of myself. Every single year, I want to keep being better than the version of myself that previous year. Not the best in the world, but the best version of myself. And that's what we should all strive for. Don't go comparing yourself to other people. Compare yourself to yourself. That's your competition. That's what's going to make you a better version of yourself. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my reflection for February 2022. Let's see what happens in March 2022. Links for social media at the bottom. Discounts for supplements at the bottom. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel and peace out.